Can you record? So good evening, ladies, or good morning or afternoon, wherever you're calling from, from the world. My name is Legend Thurman, and I will be your MC for tonight. And welcome to the Women Action Takers Networking Event. It is here today where we like to do exactly what the title says, network, but take action together to create collaboration. And it is hosted by the queen of collaboration, Miss Linda Sunshine West. She has been a red carpet interviewer. I can't count the number of times best-selling author up to this point because it seems to change per week at the moment. But we are also here tonight to listen to a special guest speaker, Miss Jenny Harkelrod, several announcements, and again, get to know one another, foster connections, and like we said, collaborate. So with all that being said, as Linda said, there is no agenda, and I think I did pretty well for winging it after nine months up to this point. Let's get the show started. Everyone, welcome Miss Linda Sunshine West. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here today. Um, you know, I got on a little bit early today. I had, you know, Verpy and Legend were here, and I shared with them a new idea that I have, and I'm going to share it with you right now, because I'm going to change up the way we run this meeting, and um, instead of it being a networking event, we're going to turn it into a collaboration event. So what will happen, like today we have Jenny Harkle Road. She's going to be our keynote speaker. Um, as I make it through the current speakers that I have scheduled, I'm not going to, I'm no longer going to have any keynote speakers at this event. And we're going to have this be focused around how to collaborate, how to collaborate with others. How do we make what we want to happen, happen? And a lot of times this comes from collaboration. I'll share like Jenny and I are in collaboration and something right now that she's working on. I'm in collaboration with Legend. We're working on a book together called Women Action Takers with Healing Powers. You know, collaborating, I'm going, I collaborated with Laurel. I, I was on her podcast the other day. So collaboration comes in many, many forms. And so I'm excited to, to really dive into it. I didn't become the name, the queen of collaboration for nothing. I didn't name myself that, by the way, other people did. And so when they did, I was like, okay, I, I'll accept that and I'll move on with that. And so really collaboration is one of the ways that we can quickly, much more quickly move into that space that we truly want to be in. It can be scary sometimes because it might seem like we're giving up something to gain something, or maybe we just don't know how. We don't know the steps to take to get there. And that's okay because that's what we're going to learn through the process. And my goal for everybody here is to, to up-level themselves to whatever that means for you. I can't decide what that is. Only you know, and you might not even know right now, but that's okay. Because as the next levels come, then you're ready to go to the next level. And there's just so many levels out there, you know, to embark on. So again, super excited about it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be putting on starting January 2nd, I'll share with you uh, just briefly. I was at an event this last, you know, couple of days called Secret Knock. I've been attending Secret Knock since 2015 and Rebecca was there. It was so awesome to meet you in person. In, were you there, Laurel? Okay, you're waving. Okay, it was like, oh my God, I missed you if you were there. But it was so great to finally meet Rebecca in person because I met her on Zoom, you know, a couple months ago. So it's just been amazing. So we're at this event. And on the second day, I was um, having lunch by myself. I said, you know, I'm just gonna have lunch by myself and take a little, a little me time. And I don't usually do that at Secret Knock because I want to spend every minute with everybody, you know. And I sat down and I broke out my notepad because I bring I brought this book for me. Enjoy the little things. I brought this book with me to take notes from all the speakers. And I got some just you know incredible nuggets from them. And then I said during my lunch, you have all these connections. Why are you not tapping into them? You know, because I've made some incredible connections at Secret Knock, with, you know, founders of all these like multi-million dollar companies multi-billion dollar companies and I have these connections in my back pocket and I'm not pulling them out of my back pocket why because I let my fear get in my way fear oftentimes will stop us from doing things and so I just broke out my notepad and I wrote on the top I wrote 30 days to success I didn't know what it meant at that time but I wrote it 30 days to success and then I sat there and I said you know what January is the new year we're going into a new New whatever for what, you know, I saw somebody post today, September is the new year. I can't remember who that was, but I was like, okay, so it's October. So it's November. Every month is the new year. But so I wrote down January 2nd through January 30th, 1st. Okay, hold on. I wrote 30th. So that's not right. Is that right? 
No, second through thirty first. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so I wrote down January second through J January thirty first, and I said, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get my speakers, my all these people I know, multi mega millionaires and billionaires to come speak at this event, 30 Days to Success. So I walked out there on the floor and I just started talking to him. Hey, Steve, he's the strongest man in the world. He's a, uh, um, in the um, Guinness Book of World Records for being the strongest man in the world. Steve, I'm putting on this event. I didn't say I'm thinking of it. I said, I am putting on this event called 30 Days to Success. It starts in January. Are you in? Oh, yes, of course. Just reach out to me. Here's my phone number. Okay, then I started just reach, you know, talking to all these other people at this event. So of the 30 days, now this was three days ago that I came up with the idea. Of the 30 days, I have 20 days already filled because I just went around asking. I just went around asking. That's all I did. And I got commitments, commitments from them. There's still some people I haven't asked yet, but I have them on my list here to ask. And I, I realized that I've got this great group of people that I know I'm not tapping into them. It's time for me to put on my big girl panties and start asking. So that's what I did. So I'm so excited about it because many of them I've known for the, since 2015 and I have never you know, asked for anything from them because I, I just love to be around them. I love their presence. I love their energy. And that was what I was getting out of out of the relationships, right? That was what I was getting. What were they getting? I don't know. Probably my energy. I don't know. But I'm just so grateful to them for, for being part of my life. And you know, when I show up, they're excited to see me. And of course, I'm excited to see them. But they're excited to see me. And it really got me thinking about energy. And thank you for that, Latara. She says, you have a great energy. It really got me thinking about energy and how when we show up as ourselves, this was something that took me a while to do because I had a lot of fears in my life. You know, I was a people pleaser for so many decades, for 51 years, a people pleaser. Now I'm a recovered people pleaser. But showing up in the energy of who I am every single day is what has created the relationships. It's what's created the collaborative environment that I am in. I wasn't always a, the queen of collaboration. I was the queen of fear before, you know, I had so many fears, but once I, I stepped out of that fear and started saying, I have something, I don't know what it is. So to, to talk to like Jeff Hoffman, he's the founder of priceline.com and he does so many other things. We had him here at the event and he's going to be one of the ones who speaks at, you know, the 30 days to success event. And I'm thinking like, why does Jeff Hoffman want to do this? Why did he say yes to me? Well, because I asked, but not just because I asked, because it, you get, they get asked so many things from so many different people. You know, everybody wants a piece of them, right? It's my energy. Because when I walk into the room, he gets this big smile on his face. He's like, oh, there's Linda. Awesome. Hey, Linda, how are you doing? You know, and it's that energy that I walk around with. And so I'm just sharing this because I'm so excited that I have tapped into me. Who am I? Who am I walking around as? And who am I being? And when I am being that person, is it a good energy? Is it a negative energy? You know, who am I being? And I must admit, I am stoked. It might sound self-righteous. I don't know. But if it does, if that's your own issue, you got to get through it. I'm just saying, because I am stoked to be who I am. I worked freaking hard to become this person. You know, I had a lot of challenges in my childhood, like many of you. I grew up in abuse and it was so volatile that I had fear that stifled my voice. I was scared to be me because I didn't know who I was. I was a people pleaser. I spent all my time worrying, oh, if I say this, are they going to be mad at me? That's how I lived my life for 51 years, 51 years. So I worked my ass off to be who I am today and to have the confidence to walk around, to say something like that. It's a big deal for me. So I'm sharing this because I'm excited about what's to come. I don't know what's going to happen. Is everybody here going to drop off and, and be like, oh, I don't want to attend that event. You know what? That's something I thought of. 
Is everybody going to want to disappear because they don't want to be part of it anymore? And I said, if one sticks around, it's worth it. Because I'm here. I'm here to do what I'm here to do. And there will be people who want to join and there will be people who don't want to join. Either way, it's great because I'm still going to continue doing what I do. And, and I'm just excited to have you all here today to, to be witness to part of my process, you know, that process of writing the words on the paper and then writing the structure, this is what it's going to look like, and then saying, these are the people I want to, you know, be part of that. So how this event is going to change, though, is I'm, again, you know, I use the word excited a lot, because when I was facing a fear every day for a year in 2015, I faced 365 fears, you know, in a row. The word excited is the word that I replaced with scared, fear, um, uh, I'm anxious, I used to use those words all the time and I replaced every single one of them with the word excited. So you will hear me say the word excited a lot and you won't know what it really means. <laughs> does it mean she's anxious or what? Or does it really just mean she's excited? It's because I am, I am super excited. So what we're going to do with this particular event, the, it's going to become a collaboration event where twice a year, eventually I got, I don't know the dates yet, but twice a year we'll actually come in person as well and meet in person and create an event where when you walk out of that event, you didn't just learn a lot, but you actually implemented and you have learned not only how to collaborate with collaborate with other people, well, there will be women at the event, but you know, to collaborate with other people, but you will walk out of there having a collaboration going with somebody. And so I want, it's all about implementation. I want implementation because without that implementation, it doesn't matter. Knowledge is not power. It's implementation that creates the power that you have. You have to take that action. That's why my moniker is nothing happens without action. Things come to us all the time, but what are we doing about it? We got to take action in order to get results. That's exactly what I did. I you know, approached 20 people. They all said, yes, I've got an event. I'm in the process of creating it. Then I got to do all that other stuff that comes behind the scenes. One thing I'm super excited about that 30 days to success, and then I'll come back to this event in a minute, is what I, I said to myself, so, you know, you've got all these people, they're all saying, yes, this is fantastic. You're going to bring them in. They're going to speak for an hour, be done. But what I'm going to do also is, because I have these books that we're, you know, we're writing, Legend was, you know, she said how, uh, you know, I don't know how many times best-selling author she is, because it's happening so fast and furious right now. I'm now a 10 times number one best-selling author, international best-selling author, which is so exciting. Yeah, number 11 will come next month because we already have the date launch, I mean, they in, in mind for the next one. And they're just going to keep coming. It's not about that. It's about the action that I'm taking, right? That's getting those results. And I was thinking, you know, I don't ever want this to be the Linda show. This isn't about me. This is about what I do to bring people together that collaboration piece. So as I was thinking about the 30 days to success and I have, you know, like I have a, a three times Emmy award winning uh, woman who's gonna be coming on, her name is Dominique. She'll be coming on as well. So like I have Dominique, she's speaking on say day five. I, I don't have the dates yet, but say she's speaking on day five, then we have an opener. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer to the women who are in my books, those women, I'm going to offer to them to be the opening speaker that particular day. So I'm, again, I'm super excited about it because it's not about me. It's, it's just like, I'm going to be coming here. I'm going to facilitate something and then invite you know, that woman to speak. And then, and then we'll hear the keynote speaker of the day. But it's about you know, putting other people's, other people's other people out in front. I want to help you to shine your light. And that's what I'm here to do is to, you know, sunshine. Oh my God, I'm going to cry right now. Hold on a second. We were at the event and uh, it was, you know, secret knock for those who showed up just recently. So we we're at that event and we had a luncheon and it was an author's luncheon. And so, oh my gosh, during the event, they brought me a gift basket. I wasn't expecting a gift basket. And by the way, I'm not very good at receiving physical gifts. Like hugs, I'm great at, but physical gifts, I don't know why that's something for me to think about. Uh, but they brought me this gift basket. And one of the items, I opened it up. They actually bought me a real star in the universe. There's a star up there. 
named Linda Sunshine. How cool is that? Like, that was so awesome. So I, I said that because, you know, it's, it's like that, that light that I'm shining, that I want to do that with others too, to help them to shine their light. If they're not, maybe their light's a little bit dim right now, or maybe they're shining it and they want to shine it more. Like, let's do that. Let's make that happen. And that's the mission I am on. And as you can tell, I am fired up about this and I have been fired up. It's been about four weeks now. I mean, I've always kind of been fired, but never fired up. <laughs> so it's just really, really amazing. You know, what's happening right now. And I'm just getting started. I am just getting started. So with this event here, what we're going to do, is going to be about collaborating. I'll come up with some different types of, you know, games that we'll play that will relate to collaboration. And we'll, we're still going to do the speakers open mic portion of it. We'll have two speakers speaking and, you know, I, and it's going to be though about the people, the women who show up at this event, you know, it's going to be about that. So again, super excited about that. See what we do together. It's an idea I have. Will it work? I don't know, but I would never know if I never tried it. So how many ideas do you have? How many ideas that you have the things that you're not doing, that you're not taking action on because you're fearful. Is it going to look stupid? Am I going to fail? Am I going to bomb? You know what? Every failure is an opportunity to learn something new. It's an opportunity to learn something new. I have had so many failures that if I quit when I failed, I wouldn't be doing anything that I'm doing today. Nothing. So we got to take our chances. We got to put ourselves on the limb. Maybe we'll get embarrassed, but you know what? You just suck it up and you go on to the next thing. And that's you know, when I started reaching out to these uh, speakers to be on this 30 days to success, I had no idea who was going to say yes and who was going to say no, but I went in there assuming they were all going to say yes. Assuming, oh, I'll go to this person because they'll say yes. Whew, they said, yes, thank goodness. Because <laughs> I don't know what would have happened if they said no, I probably just would have walked to the next person, you know? So it's really putting ourselves out there. I vote for San Diego. <laughs> yeah. Of course, San Diego, that's where I am. It makes it easier for me, but who knows? Maybe we'll do other countries as well. You spelled favorite wrong, Laurel. We spell it with no you here in the US. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're in Canada, right? Are you in Canada? Yeah, Canada. The Canadians and our UK people are out of you know the United States. We have to do everything differently, right? When will this event take place? So. So there's a um, couple different events I'm talking about here. One is called 30 Days to Success. That one will, I'll, I'll be having a landing page for that for you to sign up. That one is gonna cost a little bit of money. Um, I'm doing, I'm gonna do it like this, $19 for one event. If you wanna attend two events and I'll have a list of speakers and the dates and everything, two events for $29 or all of the events for $99 and that's US. So $99 for all of the events, then you'll get all the recordings as well. Um, but that's starting in January, January 2nd through January 31st. And then uh, the other event that I'm talking about is this event here, which is still the second and fourth Saturday every month on Zoom. Those will still be on Zoom, the second and fourth Saturday every month. And then the in-person events, I haven't chosen dates yet for that. I'm looking at doing a two-day event so I need to find a venue. I have a friend. Oh gosh. You know what? You know, when you're just like, things are moving really well and you get a little bit scared. I'm not letting that happen. I'm not letting that happen. So again, I was, uh, we were at that luncheon and I had this gift and one of my friends, his name's Ron. He builds custom homes for movie stars, like 20,000 square feet and above. That's what he builds. They're all custom homes. And so he came over and he said, congratulations, Linda. This is so awesome. Cause he heard the ladies talking. This is so awesome. Congratulations. What do you want? What do you want? And I looked at him and I said, $5,000. And he said, why are you thinking so small? And I said, okay, 10,000. You're still thinking small. I said, okay, give me a minute. I'll think about it. I'll come back to you. So he went and sat down and then about five minutes later, it came to me. I want to host an event in one of your houses. And he said, okay, let's make it happen. So it's really like, what do you want? 
What do you want? Why do we allow ourselves to think so small? Why do we do that? I do it. It was evidenced to, you know, this week. And we think so small. Putting on an event charging $19. That's pitiful, Linda. But you know what? That's what I want to do. And it feels good. It feels good for me. So that's why I'm doing that. But, you know, I say thinking so small, there's so many things, $25,000, right? Why are you thinking so small? Why not a hundred? Money is abundant. Money is abundant. So when I think about Ron's house and I looked at him, I was like, I want to hold an event in one of your houses. And he said, we can do that. And I said, that is what that's worth more than any amount of money you could ever give me. So what do we want? What do we want? It's a hard question to answer oftentimes because when we're asked it, we can only go as far as our brain can think. So how can we expand that? Grant Cardone talks about the 10X all the time. So if you haven't heard of Grant Cardone, he wrote a book called The Millionaire Booklet. It's very small. I highly recommend it. If you haven't read it yet, it's called The Millionaire Booklet. You can read it in an hour. But he talks about also, that I read his book 10X. So if you have a figure 25,000, add a zero to that. Change it to 250,000. Why are we thinking so small? Why are we thinking so small? The Millionaire Booklet, it's an amazing one. And my husband even read it and he loved it. <laughs> He's not into this like personal development stuff. So I was really excited that he read it. So think about that. What, do you, what is it that you want for yourself, for your life, for your business, for your personal life? What is it that you want? And then put a number on it and then times 10. Just do it. And you'll, it might be hard at the beginning, but eventually it'll be easier. That might not be the number that you stick on, but it's not about that. It's about expanding your mind. It's about thinking beyond your comprehension. It's about that. It's right. It's about moving into that. Does it happen overnight? It can. It can happen in an instant, but sometimes it doesn't. Most times for me, it didn't. It didn't happen in an instant, but it got me thinking. It got my mind expanding into new horizons. And so for me, again, to walk around and ask all those people to speak at this event, that would have been a much bigger deal for me last year than it was this year, because again, my mind expanding, expanding, expanding. So now when we move into move this event into more like the collaboration type of event, this is about creating collaboration with the women that you want to work with, creating collaboration to help you to expand your mind and your business. This collaboration is all about expansion. As we get into that, I want you to start to think instead of along the lines of, I could really use some clients. I want you to think about how can I expand my business through leveraging other people. So that's what I'm doing. I'm tapping into 30 people that I know that are extremely successful beyond maybe my wildest dreams right now, because as that expansion happens, my mind will expand as well. But I reach out to them and I had this dream of what I wanted to do and I'm doing it because what did I do? I took action. It was immediate. Someone asked me, they're like, what are the details? I said, I don't know. I just thought about it 10 minutes ago, but I'm moving forward. I'm not going to let my fears get in the way of the progress. So what am I doing? I was, um, it was a couple of years ago, I was doing a Facebook live and uh, Les Brown, you know, you, several of you might've heard of Les Brown, you know, international motivational speaker. He called me like my phone's ringing while I'm doing a Facebook live and it's Les Brown calling me. And he said, Linda, when I'm in town, you make sure that you come see me because I'm going to teach you how to leverage my name, which was awesome. But he didn't teach me how to leverage his name. What he taught me is how to leverage all the people I know. <laughs> you know it wasn't just limited to less. It was less, less and more. <laughs> it was less and more. You know, so he taught me how to leverage people I know. And that first I was like, it felt really awkward. 
what does he mean leverage his name? You're like, I'm going to take advantage of him. And what he taught me is that it's knowing how to position yourself in relation to the other person so that you're leveraging their name in a way that is positioning you set yourself as an authority in that space. That was what it was. So now as I, again, I reach out to these other people and have them, you know, to take part in this 30 days to success event. It's really about me leveraging their name and the relationship that we have. Are they going to make any money doing this event? No, but they don't care about that. They care about remaining in that positive vibe, giving back to others. They've already done it. Jeff Hoffman doesn't need another billion dollars. You know what I mean? What he wants to do is to give back to those who are reaching out and asking for help. And so I asked for help and he says, yes. He's going to get an onslaught of emails. I just know it. It's jeff at jeffhoffman.com. If you want to email several of the ladies at the last meeting that we had reached out to him and he responded back. So really it he is there. You know, he is here to fulfill his mission of helping as many people as he can. And, you know, he's got the money, but that's not what it's about. It's not about the money. So think about it. What is it? Something that you want? You don't have to put it in the chat if you don't want to, but if you want to share it in the chat, please share with us. What is it that you want? Is there something that we can deliver to you right now in this moment? You don't know if you don't ask. You will not receive if you don't ask. You have to ask. But you got to know what you want. And I always say to people, don't ask me for clients. Because if you ask me for clients or, or if you're asking me to become your client, you're limiting yourself. Completely limiting yourself. Don't tap into me. Tap into who I know. That's the leverage. You my, my Rolodex, does anybody even know what that is anymore? My Rolodex is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Some of them are the millionaires and billionaires and others of them are not, but the Rolodex keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So don't ask me for clients. Don't ask me to become your client. Share with me what you do, who you serve. And like my, my mentor, Greg Reed says, what do you do? Who do you serve? And why should I care? Why should I care? Right? It's really about who I can connect you with. So collaboration, what I do is I listen to what you're saying. And then I think in my mind, hmm, and my little, my little computer brain goes crazy. And it's like, oh my God, I got the perfect, perfect person to connect you with. That's what the collaboration is all about. So you, you want to motivate others. I love it. Making our future, making our future bigger is how we can grow to that bigger future self. Yeah, it is unlimited. It is unlimited. And unfortunately, our brains limit us. So getting into an environments like this where you know we're hearing from others that are you know successfully doing what we want to do, that's what helps us to expand our mind. But then that little, that little imposter syndrome shows up and says, Who are you to think you can do that? And then you got to say, oh, get out of here. You don't belong here because I do deserve that. And sometimes it takes these little steps to get there. And sometimes they're giant leaps. We don't know. We don't know what's going to be that, that thing, right? Our brains limit us, but only temporarily because I'm teaching how to change that today. Awesome, Jenny. That's what Jenny's going to be talking about today. So this is per Jenny and I did not plan this, by the way. Did we plan this, Jenny? Nope, not at all. So it's interesting that you know, I'm talking about something she's going to be really, really touching on this. So I want to help people with their promotional material, website design, and graphic design. I love creating things for people that can bring attention to their purpose in the most beautiful way. So Leona, I'm going to make a suggestion is to flip those sentences around. So what you love creating comes first. So now I hear you because I know what's on your heart and then who you help. And the reason I say that is because when we use the words, I want to, I want to, it's all about you. So when we use the words, I help people who, and I must admit to me, one of the worst words we use is help. I help. And the reason I say that is because that assumes I need help. Like you already assuming I need help. And so I, I know there's, I don't know if phrasing, I'm not even thinking off the top of my head right now, obviously. Well, I am thinking off the top of my head. <laughs> I'm 
I'm thinking from the bottom of my head right now, but you know, um, so thinking off the top of my head, when I say the word, when I hear the word, I help, I almost, almost intuitively tune out and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person. And this isn't anything about you, Leona. This is just about our languaging and the way we use it. So I try to come up with different uh, women hire me too. See, that's great. They, so she's saying who hires her and they hire her, which means money, right? So she already just with her first two words, women hire, she's saying who her demographic is and that they pay me money. And it's not about helping them because it, you know, we do help them, but when we use those words, sometimes our childhood trauma taps in and says, I don't need any help. And that's sometimes where I go. It's not all the time, but sometimes that's, and I'm just sharing this with you because language is so extremely important. But I love that. So when you say, I love creating things for people that can bring attention to their purpose, their, it's about them in the most beautiful way. And I do this by creating promotional materials, website design, and graphic design. See, the, you didn't say I help them. So this is a great way for you to tap into the languaging that maybe will get them to listen. Our first thing in our 30-second commercials when we do them is for them to listen to us. We don't want them to tune out in the first couple words. So it's do what we can to, to keep them here, keep them in with us. And yes, I am on fire. Thank you, Linda. That's exactly what I needed. I see you had no idea. That's why listening and learning from you and others. Thank you so much, Leona, for being here and for being able to share that because this is my ability to, to tap into that and you know, give to you what you are looking for today. Maybe that was it. Maybe that was the one thing, but I'm sure that's not it. Just wait till you hear Jenny Harkle Road speak. So what we're going to do is instead of doing a networking event, this is not about networking. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to switch it starting right now. This is not a networking event. This is about growth. This is about expanding our minds, expanding our lives. Because many of you I've invited to attend Secret Knock here, like I don't have the money. We don't want that anymore. We don't want money stopping us from living our lives. Now, I'm not saying that you need to attend the event, but I'm just saying with anything, don't let money stop you. Um, Mr. Kiyosaki, I know there's too many Kiyosakis. I can't remember which one it is. So uh, Mr. Kiyosaki, I'll just say that. You wrote a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad with Sharon Lecter, who, by the way, will be one of the speakers at my 30 Days to Success event. He says, when, you, when people say, um, I don't have the money, they need to switch their language to, how can I get that money? Because if you think about it, if there's something that you want, you will figure it out. If you want it bad enough, if you have that burning desire that Napoleon Hill talks about and think and grow rich, if you have that burning desire, you will figure it out. How many people do you know that have um, maybe asked you to borrow some money or you have invited them to do something like, oh, I don't have any money for it. And then the next month you see them in Hawaii on a vacation, you know, going on doing this trip. Has that ever happened to you? It's happened to me many times. And I think about that and it's because they wanted that, Robert Kiyosaki, thank you. They wanted that vacation to Hawaii more than they wanted what I was offering. That's all it is. They had a burning desire to get there. And so they made it happen. They came up with the money. So thinking about that, don't let money stop you from doing what you want to do. Figure out how to get the money. Just figure it out without doing anything illegal. There, that's my disclaimer. So with all that said, yes, we all have gifts to share with others. We're all born with these amazing, incredible talents, these gifts. Maybe we don't really know what they are yet, or we know, and we take them for granted. We don't realize that it truly is a gift that not everybody else has, right? And then empowering the shy and introverted professionals to have a voice and create a communicative uh, communicative engagement with others to build their confidence and live an abundant life. I love that, Nancy. Fantastic. Fantastic. So ah, now that I'm out of breath, that was all in one breath, by the way, all a half hour. <laughs> I'm going to introduce our keynote speaker of the day. We've got Jenny Harkle Road. I actually met Jenny. I don't know if you remember this, Jenny, but I met you in North Carolina for an event where she was a speaker and um, I was attending the event as um, I was conducting interviews of the people 
that were attending and the speakers at the event. So that's where I met Jenny Harkel Road. She was one of the speakers. I really loved her presentation there. And it was just so engaging. No pressure, Jenny. It was so engaging. And she just has this uh, amazing, she is a ray of sunshine also. And I wanted to invite her to speak at this event. And so here she is today. Jenny, go ahead and help us change our mindset. Move us into that next phase. So welcome, Jenny Harkle Road, to the stage. It's all yours, Jenny. you got a half hour, and I know that you have right. a, you have something you're going to introduce us to um, towards the end. So ladies, please go ahead. Anything you have questions for Jenny, go ahead and top, you know, pop them in the chat so we can make sure to get those questions answered. Jenny, it's all you. All right. I'm sharing my screen. Do you guys see my screen? Yes, yes, we see your screen. Okay, awesome. Let's get you from the beginning. Even better. All right, today I'm going to be speaking about this topic that you've probably heard a little bit about. It's your thinking, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. But I'm going to take this a whole lot deeper than you've ever gone with it before, and I'm really excited to do that today. So I've taken concepts from some really famous books about thinking and I've added brain science to them. And I'm gonna literally teach you how to change your brain today to support your success. So I created this process that changes the brain, changes the cellular response, changes success. And I have the numbers to prove it and I have the science to prove it. I hired this famous neuroscientist, Dr. Jeffrey Fannin, to study my brain and the brains of my clients before, during, and after my process to see what happens in the brain and why what I do works so well. And here's a couple pictures. Uh, the one on the far left was actually Saturday, a week from today, uh, at my office doing more brain studies with Dr. Fan and our clients have their brain studied and then we work with them and then they have their brain studied again to see, see what changes, why they have such great results. And this might mean nothing to you, but I'm just gonna tell you that what Dr. Fannin finds is my process creates the amplitude, the energy, and the coherence, the communication in the brain that literally builds new pathways in the brain, changes the cellular response, and gets rid of those fears, those worries, those imposter syndromes, all the things going on under the surface that are keeping you from your success. So ladies, what I'm showing you today is literally the way to get to your success. And if you do it without me, it's going to be with a shovel. And if you do it with me, it's going to be with a tractor. And when I say with me, what I'm really talking about is with the power of your mind. Your mind is way more powerful than you could ever imagine. I'm going to show you the details of that today. So just think about, do you want to tap into your mind to create your success or do you just want to do it the, you know, making a list, getting it done, work, 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 work way? Uh, there is an easier way, and I'm going to share that with you. Your brain is literally the secret to your success, and I can't wait to show you how to tap into that during this presentation. So I'll also be offering you some free resources so you can connect with me and work with me beyond today if you want some help creating this ultimate success in your life. So I'm a number one best-selling author like Linda. I'm a speaker and I'm a mind change expert. And in my former life, I did nothing like this. I was in real estate and I had a big real estate company in San Diego as a top producing realtor for 13 years. I had a team of buyers agents and secretaries and we were producing double digits in the millions, which meant I had the houses and the cars and the travel and all that fun stuff. But here's my greatest claim to fame. This is my family. Uh, my husband, Dusty, we've been married 26 years. Our son, Josh, he's uh, 15. Jessica, she's 21. Ashley's 18. Rebecca's 24. And married to her sweet husband, Taylor, who she's holding his hand there. This is uh, why I do what I do, because I love this bunch and I love to spoil them with, um, with helping them transform their mind. And with the success I find in business, we get to do a lot of fun things together as a family. And um, kids want to hang out with you when you invite them to Ireland, all expenses paid and things like that. <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right. So today, business women hire me to reprogram their minds for ultimate success because so many are stuck in mind chatter and self-sabotage and limiting beliefs. So I help them literally change their brain to create their success. And what kind of success do they want? 
They want more money. They want more time. They want more freedom. They want to live what we call a balanced life that seems so impossible to get to. So some of you might be feeling like this gal, a little frustrated with business and what's going on. Uh, some of you might be stressed out about what's going on in the world. I mean, what a crazy time we live in, right? And some of you are just wondering, can I actually create the kind of success I want to create? And so today I'm going to show you how you can use the power of your mind as the key to your ultimate success. So I wish I learned this in school. Like I told you, I was in real estate. So how did I learn what I do today? Well, I learned it the hard way. This was me on August 10th of 2013. I'd been camping and hiking with my family and friends. And I got to this mountain ledge and my husband said, if I was young and in shape, I would jump off of here. And I thought, I'm young and in shape. And I jumped. And when I landed on the rock I'm laying on there, I heard this crunch in my back and I couldn't move. And so after friends and family tried to get me up and couldn't, they ended up calling 911. Because I wasn't bleeding out, they sent in a ground crew. This ground crew hiked in to try to get me off the mountain. And when they couldn't get me off the mountain, they called Life Flight. So this is a, the helicopter that came to get me. Uh, that's me dangling from the helicopter. There was a doctor strapped to me and they were pulling me up to this hovering helicopter. And when I got to the hospital, they gave me the bad news that I had broken my back. Ouch, right? So when you break your back, you get some thinking time. And what I thought was, I want to get better, obviously. I want to be able to move again. But I also want to fix a lot of things in my life because I was always good at making money and that's a great talent to have. And I'll tell you why I have that talent later in this talk, but I wasn't very good at health and wellness. I always had problems with my body. I always had something wrong with me. I was always in chronic pain and it was normal for me to take 30 ibuprofen a day and pretend I was fine and put on a happy face and move forward. I was also really struggling in my marriage, but I didn't want to tell anyone because, you know, I married my high school sweetheart. We've got four beautiful kids. It was the fairy tale life or so it looked. And I liked keeping that up. Right. Because I had been told you fake it till you make it. But the problem was I was always faking it. So I wanted to fix myself, my back, and I wanted to fix my life. And I didn't know how because I'd listen to uh, tapes to date myself, read books, gone to seminars, seen psychologists, prayed hard. Like, what else can I do to change my life? So, of course, first I had to fix my back. So I started doing all the natural things first, chiropractor, acupuncture, massage, physical therapy. And when that didn't work after two years, I still couldn't even sit in a chair. I decided to have major surgery. So this is my back. They put in these rods and screws and synthetic discs. That's still in me right now. And guess what? It didn't help. I couldn't sit. I couldn't drive. I couldn't function. It felt like my back was on fire. So then they started prescribing me all these different pain pills. Those are all mine. <laughs> you can look at my names on the bottle, right? Try this pill. Try this pill. Try this pill. And when that didn't work, they said, sorry, lady. Like, there's nothing else we can do. Like, I, you've done it all. We've done it all. This is your new life. And I said, uh-uh, <laughs> I am not going to live like this. So I meet this guy, Dr. Warren Jacobs. He was 86 at the time. He's now 92 and still seeing clients. He's a medical doctor. And he told me I could reprogram my mind and get rid of pain. And I said, what? No, this is a structural problem. This is not in my head, right? But I was desperate and I tried it. Well, six sessions later, guess who's doing handstands and backbends at the bay with my best friend? That would be me because I was totally healed. What? How did that happen? And so it, it was like a miracle to me. So I went back to him and I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Like I'm literally healed. How did you do that? 
And then I started bringing him all my problems. Can you help me get off pain pills? Can you fix my marriage? Can we work on my self-esteem? Can we transform my childhood traumas, right? And the list went on and on and on. And everything was just transforming in my life. I became obsessed with the power of the mind. I sold my real estate company. I sold my big custom home, sold off our rental properties, moved into one of the rental properties and started studying the mind because I couldn't believe all these things in my life I was trying to change and I couldn't change. And then he just helped me change my thinking subconsciously. And all of a sudden I was cured, healed, fixed. What? How does that work? I wanted to understand what he did and how he did it so I could help other people do the same thing because I knew I wasn't the only one out there putting on a happy face, pretending everything was great when it really wasn't under the surface. And so today I'm going to teach you some things to change your brain. And the first one is called the 17 second rule. Now the 17 second rule goes like this. When you have a thought, all it is, is an electrical signal in the brain. That's it for 17 seconds. But if you hold on to the thought for more than 17 seconds, it becomes a chemical reaction within your body. So you start to feel equal to the way you're thinking. So pretty soon you're thinking it and you're feeling it, which really makes you think it's real because you're thinking it and feeling it. Well, as soon as you start to feel it, it attracts like thoughts. Oh, that's why I feel this way because he did this or she said this or they did that or this didn't happen or my mom or my whatever, right? My traumas and dramas of the past, you create all these stories. So you're thinking it, you're feeling it, you have all the evidence to back it up. And if that goes on for just 68 seconds, guess what happens? It changes your energy field. It changes what you attract and what you manifest in your life. So before the law of attraction comes the law of vibration. If you're not at the right vibration, you can't get what you want. And so it all starts with your thinking. So if you have a negative thought, I don't think I can do that. I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. I don't know how, right? It turns into a feeling. It turns into a cascade of like thoughts. It turns into your reality. So my first challenge for you of the day is you're not allowed to think anything negative ever again for more than 17 seconds, unless you want that to be your reality. So will you remember that 17 second rule when something comes in and you don't like it? Switch it. Ask yourself, how would I rather have it? And like Linda says, take action, create the new action and create the new success. Don't go down the rabbit hole or you will get stuck down there. All right, this is Dr. Joe Dispenza, who Linda got to hang out with, I think, at Secret Knock. And what he says is, if you really understood the power of your mind, you wouldn't let one thought slip by, one negative thought. You would only focus on what you do want and how you are going to create what you do want in your life. Because again, that changes your vibration, it changes your manifestation, it changes your reality. So here's the thing. There's a few secrets hiding underneath the 17 second rule. And this is what I didn't understand for so many years. I would get frustrated because I would say, I am thinking positive. I am saying positive affirmations. I say, I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm terrific in the mirror every day for 20 years. And I'm not. Why not? <laughs> right? Here's why. There's a few secrets hiding underneath. And I'm going to share them with you now. Secret number one, you have two minds. You have a conscious mind and you have a subconscious mind. And the 17 second rule focuses on your conscious mind. But here's the thing, your subconscious mind is a million times more powerful than your conscious mind. So let's say your conscious mind is the boat there going up to Niagara Falls and Niagara Falls is your subconscious. Which one has more power? It's Niagara Falls, right? And you can be on that little boat and you can have all the positive thinking you want. You could say, you know what, everybody on this boat, we're just gonna drive under Niagara Falls. Everything's gonna be fine. We're not gonna get wet. We're gonna think positive. And then you're gonna be wrong <laughs> because the subconscious is so powerful. It's gonna, it's gonna probably sink that ship, okay? And so you get back up, you dust yourself off, you try again and you get frustrated because what, 
why isn't this working for me? I'm thinking positive. So I'm gonna show you how the subconscious mind can be reprogrammed so it supports the conscious mind so you can use all of that power to get to your greatest success. Here's secret number two, you were programmed. So literally when you were in your mother's womb till you were about seven or eight years old, your brain was in a theta state. A theta state is a programmable state and everything you experienced, heard, felt, thought became your program, whether you liked it or not, it became your programming. So if you grew up in a house where you were told you weren't good enough, or why can't you be just like your sister or money doesn't grow on trees or it's so hard to make money or whatever the stuff was, relationships never work out, cancer runs in the family, whatever they told you, that became your programming, that became your subconscious programming. So like Niagara Falls, it's always running, always pushing you to that, even if that's what you don't want. And so for about 10 seconds, you can be mad at all those people who programmed you negatively because it really has screwed up a few things in your life. But here's the secret. Here's the greatest discovery of the 21st century, which is secret number three, you can change your programming. You don't have to be stuck with whatever programming you got. You can reprogram your mind just like you can reprogram a computer. And that's what I'm gonna share, you, share with you today. So here's the first thing you have to do. You have to open this thing called a corpus callosum. It runs between both hemispheres of your brain. And it's literally when you're born a super highway of neural connections, about 200 million of them. And the older you get, the more it becomes like a brick wall. You develop your personality and you can even Google, am I right-brained or left-brained? Am I more emotional? Am I more logical? You, you form your personality, you kind of become who you are. But if you want to change that, you have to open that brain bridge and you have to get your brain into what we call a whole brain state. You want to see things from a, a whole person perspective, not just through your own personality, not just through your own past and traumas and dramas and opinions, but in an open and curious way. And you can do that when you open the brain bridge. You can literally change your perception. You can literally cause the clouds to go away because you see things different. For example, if you buy a new car, all of a sudden, don't you see that car everywhere? It's like, it's now in your perception, it's now in your awareness, and oh my gosh, how come everybody has the same car as me now, right? You've shifted what you're looking for, and it's your reticular activating system in your brain. You shift what you're creating in your life, and then you see the positive instead of the negative. It's literally like putting on rose-colored glasses, and who doesn't want those, right? Okay, so how do you do this? First thing you have to do is you have to write down what you want. And it's gonna sound like a positive affirmation, but we're gonna take it way deeper than a positive affirmation. And here's some examples. Here's 15 things that you could program in your subconscious mind. I have all the customers I want and need. It's so easy to prioritize my to-dos and take action. My team sees my vision and jumps on board 100%. I'm worthy and deserving of success. It's so easy for me to make money and save it and spend it wisely. I easily expand my company nationwide and beyond. I'm a leader in my community. I'm comfortable speaking my truth and my voice is heard. I feel comfortable talking to people in large and small groups. My relationships are happy and healthy and fulfilling. I'm confident, bold, and successful. I focus on my why and know my purpose. I have a passion for the work I do. I'm healthy and fit and love my body. My sleep is quick and easy and refreshing. What if you believed all these things? And what if you achieved all these things? The secret to achieving them is believing them. And whether you think you believe them or not is a different story because subconsciously, that's where we're talking about the belief. You need that cellular belief. Not that just, no, I think I can do it. No, like, oh, it's already done like that kind of belief. I call it walk on water belief, right? So would you guys like to program one of these goals or something of your own choosing into your subconscious mind right now? Yes, thumbs up. Okay, awesome, let's do it. So this is just gonna take a few minutes. 
I'm going to show you my most basic, simplest, easiest process to reprogram the mind. Remember, we've got to open the brain bridge. And when you, when you cross your body like this, this simple, it opens your brain bridge, scientifically proven. Oh my gosh, that was easy, right? Okay, so did you pick one of these goals? Everybody have one? Decide which one you're going to do. Or real quick, you can write one of your own. Okay, when you know which one it is. And you can customize it too. You can take one of these ideas and kind of change it up. You're just going to close your eyes and you're going to start taking some nice slow breaths. And you're going to start repeating this goal silently. With your brain bridge open in a more whole brain state, it starts to change your belief system subconsciously. So I'm going to give you one minute to breathe and keep repeating your statement. Go ahead and start now. When you're ready, you're going to uncross your arms and recross them so the other hand is on top. Perfect. And close your eyes and keep repeating the goal statement silently for another minute. When you're ready, you're going to uncross your arms and you're going to hold your fingertips together like this with your palms separated. And you're going to close your eyes and you're going to repeat your goal silently for one more minute. All right, are we ready? You're gonna open your eyes. Let go of the fingertips. I'm gonna give you all a high five. Nice job, awesome. All right, so literally you just open your brain bridge and formed a whole brain state. When you do that with your arms crossed and you're saying a positive goal statement, it literally changes the programming in your brain, okay? So you literally just reprogrammed your brain. Sometimes this causes a little physical reaction. Um, I saw, I'm not going to call any names. I saw a few people sneezing and a few things going on. Yeah, that <laughs> was happening. Sometimes people hear things, see things. If you didn't, it still worked, okay? So what we do next is we do Linda's favorite thing. 
we take action, okay? When your brain is programmed for success, you still have to do the work, I'm sorry to tell you, <laughs> all right? But now remember Niagara Falls of power is behind you instead of pushing you away from your success, it's pushing you toward your success. So what action can you do this week to create your goal? What you just wrote down, what can you do different or what can you recommit to? What can you do different? All right, so when you change your brain, it's like changing your body. How often do you have to exercise and eat right to be healthy? Well, the answer is most of the time, right? For me, I like all the time. I exercise every day, I eat healthy every day. Why? Because I wanna be healthy. Your brain is the same way. We're not just talking about positive affirmations. We're literally talking about changing your programming. And if you can do this every day, oh my gosh, the sky is the limit. I'm not here to tell you that three minutes of this once is going to change everything. But I am here to tell you that three minutes of it every day will change everything. And here's why because psychologists say you have 50 to 80,000 thoughts per day and 80% of them negative and 90% a repeat of yesterday. So no wonder today feels like yesterday because we're having the same thoughts and we're creating the same reality. So one by one by one, one statement by one statement by the next, you've got to change your brain, change your thinking. Now you don't have to do all 50 to 80,000, I like to call it the first domino, right? You get a big, powerful goal and you reprogram your mind for that and it takes out a lot of those limiting beliefs underneath. And I'm gonna tell you more in the next few minutes how you can do that. But think of all those thoughts that go through your head every day and what if you started to change them all, your reality is gonna start to change because your life is a printout of your subconscious programming. So whatever's good and easy, like I was going to tell you, I'll tell you why I'm going to make the money. It's my programming. I just learned that my family was good at making money. I learned it. I'm good at making money. It's just natural, right? I bought myself a BMW when I turned 16. It's just how I roll, right? But I wasn't good at a lot of other things. And I'll tell you, money can't buy happiness because when I had all the money, I wasn't happy, right? Amen, says Rebecca. Absolutely. All right, so here's what you need to do next. You need to start training your brain to create the reality you want instead of the reality you're programmed for. Because like I just said, your life is a printout of your programming, so it's time to change the program. So how do you do it? Well, here's where some free resources come in. I want you to spend two hours a month with me retraining your brain to create the business and life success that you want more money, more time, more freedom, you can create all that with the power of your subconscious mind. So here's how it works. We have a link for you. And let me see if I saved it in my, I can put it in the chat. Oh, good. Okay, I think I can. Okay, perfect. All right, so here's the link. It's a bit.ly link and it's Balance Jenny. And what I'm offering for you guys is a free month in my transformation group. So when you click on that link, it's going to take you to a web page that looks like what you see on the right. So normally the group's $197 a month, and we've got a sale going right now for $97 a month. But because Linda's awesome, we're going to give you a free month in the group. Yeah. <laughs> so if you look at the green button that says enroll now, you'll want to hit that button. And just above it in blue, it says one free. That's the code so that it turns into a free month instead of a $97 month for you, okay? So when you click on the green button after you go to the bit.ly link, Balance Jenny, don't use any capitals or it'll mess it up. It'll take you to the checkout page and you see promo code where it says one free in blue. That's what you have to type in and when you hit apply, it turns the 97 to zero, okay? And so you still have to fill out all your information, complete the whole page, just like you would if you're paying, but then put in that one free and hit apply and it'll give you a free month. Okay. So this was our call last, uh, last time. So we do this twice a month. 
And our next session is on Tuesday and it's at 12 o'clock Pacific time and it's recorded. So if you sign up and you can't come, you get the recording. Now in this session, I don't teach you like I'm doing right now. We do an hour of reprogramming the mind. And the little sample of what I showed you today, we go a whole lot deeper than that. Because sometimes you just don't have the belief and you need to change the belief. But sometimes there's stuff under the surface, there's subconscious blocks and we need to clear the blocks. And because of the work that I do with um, muscle testing, applied kinesiology, I know what people need. I know if they don't have the belief, I know if they have a block and I walk everybody through the process. You keep your goals private to yourself. You don't share them. Uh, but I walk you through the process on changing your brain to create your success, whether that's business, whether that's health, whether that's relationships, it all has to do with your subconscious program. So here's what our clients report. Every client we work with privately reports every goal they work on from every session. And if you look down at the bottom, after working with us for just one hour, for health and wellness, 67% of our clients say they have a 50% improvement in their health and wellness within one hour of working with us. After a week, we check in and they do the survey, they fill it out. Every client reports. And professional success, 75% of our clients say they have over 50% improvement in their professional success after just an hour working with us. And relationships, 82% of our clients say at least 50% improvement in their relationships after just an hour of working with us. Why? Not because we're so awesome, because your mind has so much power. And when you reprogram it to support you in what you're trying to accomplish, all of a sudden, the sky is the limit for you. So a quick testimonial from Marilyn. She says, since working with Balance You, my communication has improved 100% with my husband. Understanding the role the brain has over my body pain has decreased my knee pain by 80% and increased my activity. With my goal to increase my income, I've discovered a variety of new sources of income. I want to find my purpose for the next five to 10 years. And with Balance You, I have, and I'm working towards setting up and launching my business. Thank you for helping me create my ultimate success. So I love this testimonial because it encompasses all the different things we do, right? And that's how we are. We're not just business. We're not just body. We're not just mind. Like it's all of it, right? We're whole beings with whole issues. And so we address all of that when reprogramming the subconscious mind. Roger Bannister in 1954 was the first person to ever run a sub four minute mile. And they said it was humanly impossible. And he believed that he could do it, and he did. And guess what happened? After he ran a sub four minute mile, other people started doing it, right? Because they knew it was possible. They now thought they could too. Today, I think over 1400 people it is that have run a sub four minute mile. So whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. But it's not just your conscious mind thinking, it's below the surface. And I would love to support you in changing that limiting thinking, negative programming, so you can create your ultimate success. So I'm Jenny, owner of Balanced You. Just a quick reminder of uh, what I put on the slide and in the chat. Check out our group. Join our group if you really want to create the success that you're here to create, the change that you're here to create, the transformation you're here to help other people with in their lives. You can't do it unless your subconscious is on board. You can't fully do it unless your subconscious is on board. You really can create your ultimate success. I know because I've done it through my back and then all these other transformations I've had and with our clients for the last five years. That's been my pleasure to share with you today how you can tap into the power of your mind and change everything. I'm Jenny. Thanks for letting me share. Awesome, Jenny. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Jenny, everybody. Was that fantastic or what? Oh my gosh. So amazing. We do have some questions in the chat. So I want to address those first and then I'll open it to questions. Are you here with us until 1230, Jenny? Are you able yes, to be? I'm okay. here. Okay, awesome. Thanks. So Latara had a question. She said, what thoughts were you thinking to remove the pain from your body? Yeah, so that's super interesting. So the process that this doctor taught me is applied kinesiology, which is muscle testing. So the body knows what's going on, right? So I grew up with a dad who was a chiropractor and I was familiar with muscle testing because he did it. 
So when a patient would come into his office, he would run two fingers down their spine with their other arm, he would muscle test. And when he would get to a place in their spine where there was a subluxation, a disc out of alignment, all of a sudden they couldn't hold up their arm, right? It's like this biofeedback from your body, it can answer. And so with that doctor, he tested to see what was going on with my back. Why was it so much pain? And I thought, of course, it's structural, right? And he found out, oh, no, it's emotional. It's your childhood that's causing tension in your body and causing all this pain. Because remember, I didn't just have back pain. I had all these other pain issues my entire life. I was, it was just a thing with me, right? And so we release the tension in my body from all these past experiences, and then the pain just disappeared. Wow, that's amazing. Because yes, sometimes what we think it is, it really isn't. And that's absolutely yeah, fantastic. Because yep. the next question, and does it have, so this is my question, does it have the yes. same effect if we say the goal statement quietly or out loud? Yeah, so I usually have people say it quietly because when I was working with Dr. Fannin and we had the EEGs on the brain, it didn't make any difference how you were doing it. And you could see in the brain, like if I thought about running, it looked the same as if I was running. Like your subconscious doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality. It was fascinating. So repeating silently works. A lot of times I'm working with groups, so it works better to repeat silently because then everybody's not speaking over each other or sharing their private goals that they don't want to share. Right. Gotcha. But, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was wondering because I was the first round, I was saying it out loud because I didn't hear you say it quietly. And then um, the next rounds, I did it quietly. So I was just curious if that was, if there was a difference there. Yeah. So like, we, we have some, um, some things here that were like, you know, I felt it in my third eye area. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was sneezing and my brain feels active. Uh, oh. My third eye is someone else. My third eye is uh, throbbing. So that was kind of cool, right? We got that confirmation there. But what was the name of the doctor you mentioned again? Can you mention his name, the doctor you worked with? Yeah, so Dr. Jeffrey Fannin is the one I did the brain studies with. Dr. Warren Jacobs is the one who helped me fix my back and then fix all my problems and then get me started down this path of helping others do the same. And speaking so of yes, speaking yes, of yes. feeling stuff in your brain, make sure you drink water because literally what we just did, yeah, good job. It creates heat and heat creates dehydration. So no dehydrating on my watch. Okay. I didn't know that was why we uh, drink water after certain activities like that. Yeah. And I put a phrase here, Les Brown, cause you mentioned about money, you know, money doesn't make you happy. Les Brown always says money doesn't make you happy, but everybody wants to find out for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Saying. Yes. It's so funny. Yes. Let's see. Um, let's see who do we, do we have any questions. Okay. I don't see any other questions in the chat. So if you have a question, please unmute yourself and and let me see what's going on here. Does anybody have any questions for Jenny about her process, what she does? Uh, Rachel, yes. Oh, go ahead and unmute yourself, Rachel. Yes, I, uh, when I heard her, I immediately got there to, to register for the club, but I'm having difficulty doing it. You know, I don't know what do I need to do to, to, to She's having difficulty ha having difficulty signing up, Jenny, with your link. Okay, yes. so I'm gonna post it in the chat again. And so if you just follow those directions, it should work for you. So you're going to, let's see here. Okay, so you're gonna click on the link mm -hmm. and that'll take you to the, the landing page. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna click on the green button that says to enroll. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna be on the checkout page and then you're gonna use the promo code one free with no spaces and no capitals to make the $97 turn to $0. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna fill out all the information on the page. It's even gonna make you put in your credit card number, all of the information on the page and then okay. hit submit and it'll, it'll enroll you. And then it'll okay. send you the, the invite for Tuesday with the Zoom link and if you can't make it, You'll also get the recording after we do it. And that's same weeks as Linda's second and fourth Tuesday of every month. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. 
Awesome. Thank you. And then see, we had you know, some people were able to sign up with no problem. So that's good. So Rachel, just keep going for it. Remember, if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm on it. <laughs> I know. I'm on it. I know you. I know you. You're going to make it happen. Let's see. Um, so here was one that a great question. Where'd it go? Oh, should we be doing this daily for three minutes? Yes. The more you can do this, the better. Absolutely. So remember, you catch a negative thought. 17 seconds, you're like, oh, oh gosh, <laughs> I got, got to get rid of this one. How would I rather feel? And you write it down like it already exists in a positive affirmation. And even if it's crazy, like say your husband's being really mean and you want him to be really nice and you write, my husband is so sweet to me always, right? I just, I don't know why I picked that one, right? And then you close your eyes and you do this and you do this and you do this while saying that. And then you write an action like, how can my husband be more sweet to me? Well, maybe I can be more sweet to him. <laughs> maybe he'll be more sweet to me, right? So literally you can shift anything by changing how you see it. And once you reprogram yourself, all of a sudden that reticular activating system in your brain is gonna pick out what, when he's sweet to you instead of when he's not quite as sweet to you. Make sense? So the more you do this, Oh my gosh, the better. It's just like if you said, you know, I want my arms to look better. Should I do push-ups every day? Yes. <laughs> right. Well, how many? Well, how good do you want your arms to look? Right. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. And then let's see another question here. Does it matter which arm you cross over first? It does, but your subconscious will choose the right one. So just go with your, go with what you think is right. Just go with what happens. That's the right okay. one. I want to raise of hands. Um, when we, you first said to do it, I had my arms, wait, I had my arms in an unnatural state for me. Mm. And then my, I said, oh, that's not natural. So I moved it to the other. And then I said, wait a minute, I should probably go back to the unnatural state. Yeah, so you got it. Okay. So my brain told me what to do first. Yep. And then I, yep. I second guessed it because it felt weird. Right. right. So I went back. Okay. Interesting. Isn't that funny? I did that. Yep. Love it. That is cool. So did anybody else start with the, like an awkward state with your hands? Am I the only one? Okay. Verpy. Let's see. Okay. Just you and me, Verpy. I don't know. Is that, it's interesting. Our, our brain told us to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Rachel also, I see Rachel raising her hand there. Okay. Then the next one up was, what is the science be, behind the crossed arms and the, the fingers? Yeah. So if you, um, if you look at a study called brain gym, or it's even a book in, in Europe, actually, a lot of schools do this with the kids before they start their day, they put their brain in a balanced state so they can be more open and curious instead of uh, more opinionated and stubborn and not open to learning. And so it's been studied for, you know, probably the last at least 50 years by scientists, just doing that simple process of crossing your body can open your brain bridge so you can form a whole brain state, which according to Dr. Bruce Lipton, he's a cellular biologist, puts your brain into a state of super learning where you can use 100% of your brain. So we're always told like, we only use 90% of our brain or something like that. And he says, that's not true because when they did that study, they thought glial cells in the brain were filler material. And it turns out they're not, right? But what really keeps us from using 100% of our brain is that corpus callosum, the brain bridge. So when you open it by just crossing your body and then closing your eyes and slowing your brain down into a more programmable state, you can really change that programming. Wow, that's fascinating. I, so I, the brain gem study, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. Is your program only two months or is it a continual program? It's ongoing. So I actually, uh, I, we meet every Tuesday. We have an advanced group and uh, uh, the group that I offer to you guys. So it's ongoing and I teach people how to do my process as well. I have a training next month so you can learn how to do all this for yourself for your family, for your clients. I really think that's the best thing. The most empowering thing is to learn the work for yourself. And I love teaching people how to do it. So private clients, group clients, learning the process. I do women's retreats, all sorts of fun ways to help you live your best life. Okay. Now you mentioned um, uh, you, cause you had the back and then, but then you also mentioned the family, there were family issues, your husband, things like this. Are you, 
did the doctor help you with your relationship or are you in a different relationship now? And I'm going to the same relationship. Side. Yes. So I literally was going to leave my husband at year 15. I said, I want out. And he's like, no, let's like figure this out. And we, I tried for another five years and I was like, oh my gosh, 20, if I can't figure it out after 20 years, I'm out of here. Right. <laughs> like, geez. I mean, I get, that's more than a, a good effort. Right. Well, then I reprogrammed my mind and all of a sudden I was in love with him again. And I was so confused because I thought all the problems were him and apparently they weren't. It was my perception. It was all these wounds I had. And it's like, if he sprinkled a little salt and I was bleeding, well, it hurt a whole lot more. Well, when I wasn't bleeding anymore, if he sprinkled salt, it fell on the ground. And I didn't even notice, right? So my whole perception changed of my whole universe, really. And uh, we've been happily married for uh, five years now, even though it's been 26 years. <laughs> happily married for five of those. And I, I interviewed him on a zoom not too long ago. And I asked him like, has it ever backslid in these last five years? And he said, no, not once. I mean, isn't that amazing to hear from his perspective? Uh, so yeah, it's been amazing transformation in our relationship. Congratulations. Cause you know, Thank having you. a, having a, a successful relationship is not about the years. It's about the, yeah. the years that you, the joy and the, you know, that. So congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank you. There was Thank something you mentioned. Um, like I'm looking, I'm thinking about that slide that you showed the three, uh, it was relationships, um, health and wealth. Was that basically the three categories? Yeah. So relationships, health and wellness and professional success. Okay. Yeah. And so with those, so in your sessions, the, the Tuesday sessions and stuff, like yeah. for this program that you shared with us today, um, do we just choose what we want to work on during that time? Okay. You do. Yes. I send you a list of a whole, like 10 pages of potential goals to choose from. Oh, okay. And you can look through those and choose. And something that happens on Tuesday is we don't just work on changing belief. We also work on clearing blocks. So you might start with a business goal. And then I might say, because I'm muscle testing remotely for the whole group. Okay. You guys have a block going on. And the block has something to do with a relationship. So we're going to write a relationship goal that's going to clear the block to the business goal. So it ends up that all people that I work with, we end up working in all categories because it's all it's all tied together in the brain. Okay, wow. Thanks for sharing that. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's see here. Do we have any more? I think how do you muscle test from a distance? Oh, yeah, yeah. That is a yeah. fascinating yeah. question, right? So, I mean, think about this Zoom call. Like, how is this working? Like, through the airwaves across the world in real time, there's modern technology that, you know, when we have the number to dial into, our system can connect and we can all be having this conversation. Well, if you think of the human body, how much more complex is it than modern technology? So much so that we've been hiding in our houses for a couple of years because of COVID, right? Like, we're so complex, it's hard to figure these issues out. Well, think of it like um, good vibes and bad vibes. Have you ever walked in a room and it's like, I like it here. I like this person. Like I, it feels good, right? Like they're giving me a good energy. And then you go somewhere else and you're like, yeah, I got to get out of here. Like, I don't know what's going on in here, but I don't like how it feels. So we all have an energy and we all send out an energy signal when we speak and even when we think. And so with a lot of training from my dad, from Dr. Warren, from all these classes I went to, I learned how to read that signal subconsciously. And so instead of muscle testing somebody that way, I can do a little self check and read their energy signal when I'm helping them. I don't like read people's minds or spy on them or anything like that. When I'm trying to figure out what they believe in or what subconscious block they have, I can just do a little muscle test and figure out, oh, okay, here's where the group needs to go. And it's pretty cool when you work together as a group. It's what's called the collective consciousness. And it's like all the subconscious minds agree that we're gonna use this program to transform. And I can pick it up with a muscle test and we can do it. And then everybody reports these transformations. It's phenomenal. So the body knows, I trademark that term, the body knows, and I can read that signal. And so can any of you with training, just like any of you can learn how to play the piano, with training, it takes a lot of practice, right? But anyone can do it. Yeah. Can you trademark the body knows? I did. Did you get the registered trademark for that? Not yet. It's in process. Oh, okay. 
okay, <laughs> like, wow, that's, that's amazing. Cause I couldn't trade more women action takers. They denied me. So uh, oh, a sure. couple of years gets, that, that's so cool. You see, can you get a full transformation within two months? That's a good question. So I guess it depends like full transformation of what are your issues? You know, if you have a handful of issues, yeah. If you have, uh, you know, 200 issues, no, <laughs> right? So it depends what you're trying to accomplish. Are you trying to make six figures? You're trying to be a billionaire, you know? It depends on your goals. It depends on your childhood. Was it happy or is it chalked with traumas and dramas that we need to work through, you know? Also, working privately with, with me or my team, you transform faster because we can muscle test you. We can have a conversation. We can work specifically on your goals, so there's, there's that as well. It's kind of like a group exercise class versus a personal trainer, right? Where are you going to get greater results? Probably the personal trainer who can focus on exactly what you need. Do you still do the practice yourself? I do. Absolutely. Okay. You mean like use it on, with myself, on myself? Yeah. Is that what yeah. You meant? Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like, do I personally still see clients? Oh. Okay. Yeah. So yes to both. <laughs> Absolutely, because I'm a human being and life happens, right? And when I feel or think or act or react in a way I don't want to, I ask myself, how would I rather feel? What would I rather experience? And then I do a little balance on myself. So all of a sudden that's changed. Like I said in my slides, because we have 50 to 80,000 thoughts per day and 80% of them negative and 90% a repeat of yesterday. Well, there's a lot to transform. And so, yeah, every day I do a little balance on something when something comes up for me because, you know, I'm human and I, I, I show up to something and I maybe feel judged and I think, oh, well, how would I rather feel, right? I'd rather feel like people support me. So I do a little balance. I mean, whatever it is, change it and it changes your reality. Hence the name of our company, Balanced You. <laughs> Balanced yes. You. Yeah, exactly. And then um, how long is the promo code valid? And this is a great question because I do, this is going to go on to YouTube and people do watch the replays. So how long yeah. will this be valid? Uh, I am not taking it down. So you can there we use go. it whenever you like. Yeah. But, but it depends on like how fast do you want the change in your life, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. It's really, when, when do you want to get started? And that's really the thing with, you know, anything in our lives, how soon do we want to get started? Um, and I understand you're definitely you know, wanting to put things off and, and do that, do what works for you for sure. But then do you want to be saying, and I say this because my mother, you know, two weeks before she passed away, she said to me, I lived my life with so many regrets. No. And how often, how often have we done something in our life? And we said, I wish I did this earlier, right? You can't wish that into existence. You can't yeah. wish doing something earlier into existence. So just think about that. You know, how long do you want to put it off? If you are going to wait a month, put a date on it, put it on your calendar, sign up that so you don't miss. So you don't miss that opportunity. And I say, you know, because the opportunities are about, you know, abundant, right? There are opportunities all over the place. So this, you know, opportunity to, I'm signing up, I'm signing up today because, you know, I, I believe in Jenny. I've known her for, like I said, you know, I've been watching her, following her. And I know people who have worked with her and they're always singing her praises. So I want to start today. Well, I guess it'd be Tuesday, but I'm going to start Tuesday. Uh, you know, before the, so I'm hoping to see some of you ladies there. I think it's going to be fabulous. And I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what kind of changes happen because like we saw Joe Dispenza, you, know, you mentioned him, he spoke and Rebecca, how was Joe Dispenza? Oh my gosh. I'm seeing, she was sitting over there crying. Yeah. Cause he was just so incredible. So incredible, but really this work on our brain, you know, it's, it's what's stopping us a lot of times from doing the things that we want to do in life. And so it's really about awesome legend. Yay! Um, it's, it's really about what, what do you want out of your life and your brain is stopping you. What are some of the tools we can use to move forward, to move past that? And if this is one of those tools that can help us, and I don't know about you ladies, but 97 bucks is, it's not a lot, right? It's, it's enough to say, dang, if she can do this for only $97 a month, it's going to be worth it. So Jenny, I don't know what you're going to do for me, but I'm excited. I'm going to change your world, Linda. I'm ready. Like it's been changing already. So it's just going to be even like a, just a better change. And I'm super, what word excited, of course. Excited. Me too. I use that word constantly. I love yeah. it. We're the excited I love girls. It. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cause it, cre- it creates a different, you know, you listening to your body, right. It creates a different, uh, I don't know, for me, it creates this, just this whole different feeling of being and, and my energy shifts because of the word excited. Oh my gosh. And so with that, I love to end on time. We got one. Oh, we got no minutes left. We got one minute left because 30 goes to 31. But Jenny, I want to thank you so much for being here today. It was incredible. I learned a lot, some really great uh, notes here. And I know I got my main goal statement just off of that list there. And you really hit the mark for me on that, which I'm going to be working on for sure. And I'm looking forward to Tuesday showing up for the first the first event and uh, signing up. And I'm looking forward to seeing you ladies there. If you, if you enjoyed today's session, please invite people to attend future sessions. This is going to get better and better and better because what I do is I keep looking at what's working well and make it better. Look at things that are not working and I dump them. And that's the way it just goes. So ladies, thanks so much for being here. And our time is done. Um, if anybody wants to stick around, you're welcome to. I'm going to do like 15 extra minutes because then my husband and I are going to lunch. So, but the, nice. the meeting is officially ended. So anybody want to stick around, have any questions, any thoughts and, you know, anything about like what Jenny shared today, any ideas, I, I want to hear from you. If you do go ahead and raise your hand, otherwise, you know, I'll just keep talking. Okay. Rachel, 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 she's excited. She wants to speak. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want to start immediately. I, I, I don't know why I have to wait to Tuesday, but I'm waiting for Tuesday because you know, yes, I I didn't get the which hand you cross first, but she said, uh, I think your body will tell you. I'm, you know, uh, yeah, because I I think my son just came from football practice. He was asking me, and I'm telling you to stop, and you were talking. So I didn't know which hand go first, but I'm really excited. I want to change my life yesterday. So I'm, I'm really, I will see you there. <laughs> awesome. Can't wait, Rachel. So excited <laughs> for you. Do you want to just share again, um, Jenny, the, the which hand to cross first? Uh, that Yeah, so just ask your heart. Your heart knows which one. So just ask your heart and then start with it. And then cross the other way and just hold them together. Okay, so all right, thank you. That's all you need to know till Tuesday. I'll show you more later. Okay, thank you. You know what I'm most excited about for this, Jenny? Like, I just got goosebumps. But what I'm most excited about is um, creating a technique. Like, I have never used... I'm a goal setter and I like make my list and all that stuff. You were mentioning that at the beginning, but really is to create a technique that will lock in because like you coming on here today to show us is awesome. We did the exercise with you, which is awesome. But is that going to lock it in for me that I actually use it on a regular basis? And I truly believe that by, you know, showing up at your program, that that's, what's going to be to help me to create that as a habit. So that's one thing I'm super excited to lock into is having a, like a process, a system or what have you, that's yep. going to keep me going. I keep love that. Going. Yeah. So powerful. Yep. Yeah. Anybody else want to have anything, comments? Um, we already know how excited Rachel is. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Yes, Nancy. I always forget to unmute. So I'm going to make sure I unmute it before I started talking. Thank you so much, Jenny. It was great. Linda, you're Thank awesome. you. Um, I was one of those skeptics about those muscle testing and stuff. Mm, yeah. You know, the hands out and going like this. And I go, well, you know, my arm is weak or something, whatever. Never thinking it's part of the brain. I... And feeling the sign. So that was a very good exercise that you gave everyone. And I wasn't thinking like Rachel, like which arm do you put in front? It's just like automatic. Like yeah. however it went, and uh, you're gonna switch it anyway, like you, you said. But right. but it really was was a good feeling. Matter of fact, I even you know sometimes to my husband I said, you know, if you get rid of those negative thoughts, you have a lot more room for those positive thoughts to come into your brain and stuff. You know, yeah. you just get them out of your head. You know, and, and it's working. It's it's really helping. He's so much nicer. No, I'm just. Oh, I, mean, I love it. Good <laughs> job, Nancy. That works, you know, it does work. And I'm a very positive type person anyway. So um, so I understand everything was happening today. It's a great presentation from both of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thanks, Nancy. And I think I met you on LinkedIn, right? Is that correct? I think awesome. it was LinkedIn. Yeah. I, so I did LinkedIn and then, and then you actually said, let's do a Zoom together. And then we did a, a, a Zoom. Yeah. But it's like that, you know, just like a few because they're awesome. But I did see the one with Jeff and that was that was incredible. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got to see him in person again, you know, at the, the Secret Knock event. And so just, yeah, it's, it's incredible, you know, how we connect with people, you know, a lot of people I know from social media, and then, you know, bringing them over here, and then, you know, hopefully getting opportunities to meet everybody in person at some point, that would be awesome. And that's Congratulations on your, the live event you said is going to be a two day event. That's yours. Two day event. Yeah, I just the have to think one, of the, the date. Days, is that I'm sorry? The 30 day one that you're talking about, is that online? January. Or is that that'll online? be online. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, that'll be an hour a day. I, I haven't even created the landing page or even a way to pay. You know, I haven't done any of that. I mean, it's so brand new, but I will be coming up with that. And um, it's it's just going to be an incredible event because what will happen is I'll bring the, each speaker in each day and then everybody will be on here with there's going to be Q&A time as well. So everybody will have, I would say everybody will have an opportunity to ask questions because, you know, hopefully I get a thousand people signed up. That would be super cool. Mm -hmm. So it'd be impossible to have all thousand people to ask questions, but if they will be here available for us to ask the questions. So that's going to be really an incredible event. And I, you know, it's like, I'm stepping into my next level, right? Our next levels, uh, sometimes they're small and sometimes they're giant leaps, but you know, we got to step into them in order to grow. That's what the expansion is all about. So that's my word of the year, expansion. This year, 2021 is expansion. So, okay, Verpi, go ahead. Yes. Well, I just want to thank Linda for asking Jenny. Yeah, Jenny, really wonderful talk. Thank you so much for taking the time to explain and also get us to practice your technique and method a little bit. So um, I'm really looking forward to learn more from you. Certainly, without a doubt, very helpful. Um, I have background in scientific research, but I was focused on uh, hormones, cardiac hormones, to be more specific. And I've become very, very, very interested in neuroplasticity and how the brain and mind really works. And um, since then, I have been on an entrepreneurial path close to 20 years, and I work with entrepreneurs. So there is certainly a lot that we need to really do with our head and uh, make sure that everything is balanced as possible. So I'm um, looking forward to learn. Currently, I'm learning from Shiza Shamin, the positive intelligence. That is a lot about also about how, you know, balancing the brain and have a certain kind of grounding exercise a lot. And yours is, I'm certain it's going to be very, very aligned. And I'm really looking forward to learning more about the muscle testing. Like uh, Nancy, I, I'm a little bit of a skeptic first, but so uh, <laughs> I'm with you, Nancy, and also with the hypnotherapy uh, that I, I, I got certified with. I just feel like these kind of very simple methods that are easy to use wherever almost by, you know, by yourself. Uh, well, the taster gave the idea, Jenny, that uh, you have a lot of that type of thing that we can do easily by ourselves. So I'm really looking forward to so thank you again, Jenny, and thank you, Linda, once again. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for being here, Verpi. I know you're, I don't remember what country you're in, but you're a little bit ahead of us. So thank you so much for being here. Yes, Laurel. Embrace wow. the name, Laurel. Yeah. We got that on the podcast yes. episode. Yes, sunshine. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> well, oh, Jenny, just thank you so much. So I often say, uh, body, mind, and business. That's one of my taglines. And what you just explained is what I've been been living through through my healing journey and my business journey. And uh, the I, I see I see the world in left, right, male, female, and uh, the explanation you gave of the balancing of the brain and just you know, opening opening that up was was like yes that's that is so cool and um thank you so much i i do uh follow dr uh dispenza and uh bruce lipton and um i'm trained in psychosomatic therapy and i've been guiding people through teaching that as a certification course for the last decade so i've i've been able to be front seat to watching people go through that change and i have heard about the 17 seconds i wonder if i've watched you online before because you were familiar right away but just being able to be part of that to embody that actual exercise yes i've signed up right away so i look forward to more so that's very cool thank you Thanks so much laurel i love all the stuff you're already doing to balance your brain and and bring success that's awesome 
what what you said was really powerful and it's it is what i i've been living in that um even the the brain challenges the damage that i've had in the past i didn't know how severe it was until i started healing it and learning tech for me in my uh, in my business i first recognized that as wow it's like i'm thinking differently i'm feeling more calm and the water piece is so key. So thank you for also Love just it. being an advocate of, of that. And thank you, Linda, for sharing another brilliant, beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. And I do have one uh, question before, because my husband just stopped and said, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so <we> got, <laughs> I, I told him five more minutes. Okay, so I do have a question because Kohila, she works with uh, students. She's you know, helps like to tutor students. So how could this be beneficial for her? Maybe, and I'm just throwing this out here, Kohila, I have no idea, but this might be, be, be some way that she can incorporate into her own program, right? Because she mm -hmm. helps, you know, students with their, mostly with math, but with other um, courses, classes as well. So how she could use this for her students, like maybe before they go into a a tutoring session or something. What do you think? I mean, yeah, I love that. So you might want to get the book brain gym because it's all about helping kids get into that whole brain state. And so it shows you different exercises you can do with them. And you could just say like, Hey, before we start, we're going to do like three minutes of these little exercises that open your brain so you can learn more and, and understand better and remember more. So you could absolutely do that. You can also come learn how to do what I do and do actual brain change with them. So lots of options. To answer Linda, um, one of the coaching principles that I've developed because I'm an NLP coach myself is to work on that reprogramming. That's the critical piece, right? Before they can do math. So part of the coaching is, uh, it was very connected to what you were saying is first thing is to reprogram their mind before they can do any work. Yeah, if they don't believe they understand math, they think they're bad at it, you know, it, that's what happens. But if they can change that belief to like math makes perfect sense to me and I'm so good at it, if they really believe that and work toward that, that's what happens. Yeah, that's the, where my methodology begins to. Yeah, we're yeah. on the same page for sure. Thank you for just sharing that. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, for thank you. That. Yeah, it's fascinating because I you know Kohila is a, um, publishing a book really soon here, uh, hopefully in the beginning of October called uh, Escape the Tutoring Trap. And it's all about, you know, tutors, how they don't really know how to, it's not about them not knowing how to tutor, but teaching them how to tutor in a way that the students actually learn. And mm -hmm. so it's fascinating, you know, what she's done with that. So super excited okay. for her on that. Love it. Before Dispenza, there was David Hawking's, oh, that's a private message, sorry. Check them out if you're inspired. Uh, yeah, David, I keep I keep caring about David Hawkins. I have to Hawkins. I have to look at that. Rachel. Yeah, uh, uh, the question is not for Jenny, but you keep mentioning uh, the secret knot, and I need information on it. How do I get it for you? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll reach out to you on that separately. We've got two more minutes thank left you. here. Okay, thank and, you, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely um, or send me a private message on Facebook. Okay, Rachel, send me a private message there. And just put secret knock and I'll reach out to you about that. Is it secret uh, knock or not? Yeah, like knock, like knock, okay, knock on the door. Okay, all right, all right, yeah. thank you. Yeah, exactly. Thank and you. this is such a fantastic, I, I love Laurel's comment. I don't want to leave, this is so good. <laughs> you know, so that's, <laughs> that's the environment we want to create, right? Is that everybody wants to stick around. But as my mentor, Greg Reed says, yeah, you, you, you can stick around, but not here. I got to go. <laughs> so, okay. Jenny, again, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. And I'll let you all know, you know, more information about the 30 Days to Success event, as well as, you know, when I put together, you know, our in-person event, which will be sometime in 2022. Everybody have an amazing, amazing day. And I'll see you, see you um, on Zoom. Bye. Okay, thank you. Thank you.